Hey, gearheads, it's Jeff with Gear Report. I'm here at Right Sock at the World Headquarters in Burlington, North Carolina. And Russ, who's hiding behind me here somewhere, there he is. Russ is going to tell us all about the brand and some of the cool machinery back here and the awesome socks that they make. Hey, gearheads, welcome to Right Sock. Uh, our company was founded in 1948, right down the street here in Graham, North Carolina. We moved to Burlington, North Carolina about 20 or so years ago, and uh, we are in our huge factory in downtown Burlington, North Carolina. The great thing about Right Sock, we have lots of great stories to tell. My favorite story is our sustainability story. The materials that we're using, 70% uh, of the material that goes into our socks is made from post-consumer recycled plastics. Right down the road in Greensboro, North Carolina, there's a company that takes plastic bottles right out of the landfill and creates fibers that we get to weave into socks. So this point right now, I want to say 30 billion bottles have been recycled. Right. So our synthetic fibers all come from plastic bottles. Our natural fibers, our wool product, comes from post-industrial upcycled wool. So when a manufacturer who makes uh, wool sweaters, wool shirts, uh, wool socks even, has leftovers, this company called Recover Wool takes that fiber and makes fibers for us that we weave into our socks. What makes Right Socks different, besides the fact that we're made all right here in the United States and Burlington, North Carolina, is our double layer design. So every sock has an inner layer and an outer layer. And you can kind of see how that works. The idea is this inner layer is going to be firm up, snug up against the skin. Instead of your foot rubbing against the sock uh, in the shoe, the inner sock rubs against the outer sock, that shearing, we call it foot shear, and helps eliminate the potential for blisters and hot spots in the activity. Because nobody gets blisters sitting on the couch, uh, most of our customers are doing really active and exciting things, from hiking in Philmont, the Appalachia Trail, to running 100 mile races, uh, and everything in between. They run those races on purpose. Uh, they pay. They pay. Wow. They pay money to run these races. Yeah. Well, good that's for crazy. Them. Yeah. I, not me personally. <laughs> um, you'd have to pay me a lot. So, yeah. So, you can see all of our machines down the line here. We run three shifts a day. The material comes in on that side of the factory. You can see the spools of thread go up on the machines. Most of our machines are 168 needle. Um, and that just means there's more area or more material put in the sock per inch. They automatically finish the sock. You can see some of them coming off of the machine there. They're getting a seamless seam put in. Once it finishes, it goes quick. So you gotta, yeah, yeah, it'll shoot it up. It goes right over the other side. Yeah. yeah. Once they come off of the production line, they go back to our boarding stations. And we'll walk back there. This is our boarding area. So this is the area where they take the socks that have been knit. They visually inspect them, make sure they're okay. They put them on the boarding device there. It goes into the machine. They get iron basically pressed. They come out this side and then we put them in pairs. It's a much kinder process than the other boarding. Yeah, water boarding. Water boarding? Yeah, yep. right, yeah. Once they get paired, they get put in these flats like this. You can see we have them all nice and pressed flat. So then they come into our quiet part of the building, uh, the packaging station. So they get packaged either to go um, to local retailers here in the U.S. or sold online uh, or to our distributors in Germany, Switzerland, Canada, New Zealand, Australia. 
South Korea. So let's go upstairs real quick when you get a chance. It shouldn't be entertaining to me that these are in, you know, German with. Oh, I don't even know so what. So a lot of it's in French example. too. We do like, French. We oh, so for okay. Canada, right? So French yeah. Canadians, yeah. So it's interesting. I am pretty easily entertained, so. Well, I mean, <laughs> my life revolves around socks, so <laughs> I, I can appreciate that. So the book of the socks, when they're finished, they come up here. Good afternoon. How are you? They get stock inventory. Yeah. So yeah. these are all boxes of socks. And this is an order being packed right now. Is this REI's order? Yeah. yeah. This is all going to REI. Awesome. We have about a 90 day supply on hand usually. Yeah. We run two shifts a day. Yeah. Actually, three now. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Certainly meaningful. We have, um, you know, all local employees. And then this one here, I think, is probably what, what was just being done there. So she's getting ready to put seams on socks. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's some skill involved with this. So she is pretty amazing at getting the two little tabs. So the line right there. Right, yep. And that seam right there. So they're just about perfect. Yep. They sell them up. I would not do well at this job. <laughs> it takes somebody with a lot more uh, attention to detail than I have. Yeah. Did you talk about the, was it, was it no blister guarantee? What is that? I, I can talk about that. Absolutely. So we actually, um, our socks, we guarantee to give you no blisters. Uh, if they do, we will absolutely refund your money and uh, get you some socks that work for you. Um, occasionally that happens, but not very often. Yeah. And usually it's a missizing issue. They're not wearing the proper size or um, it's just some, some folks have uh, medical conditions that we have to consider sure. too. Sure. Yeah. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.